In this video, I'll show you 10 adorable gift ideas that everyone would love to receive. These are perfect for Christmas, birthdays or any other occasion. Investing time and thought in presents is really what turns a little gift into something big and meaningful. Because it shows that beside the object, you're also giving a lot of love. December is just around the corner and I'm so excited about the Christmas lights, yummy food and hanging out with friends and family. But this is also the time when we stress out about the Christmas gifts. But don't you worry guys, because I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 affordable and epic DIY Christmas gifts ideas that you can make for your loved ones. These are also perfect for birthday presents all year around and of course you can totally just DIY them for yourself. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably keeping one, two or five gifts for myself. Okay, I hope you guys are excited, take your crafty spirits out and let's get started! For someone that loves ice cream and desserts, an ice cream sundae box is a perfect gift. To make it, you need a gift box and a bunch of ice cream related things like cones, cups and toppings like candy, sprinkles, honey, ice cream scoop, little spoons and decorations. Now we have to package everything nicely. For the cones, take some cellophane and roll it like that to make a cone shape. Secure it with a piece of tape. Put in a few ice cream cones and make a bow on top using ribbon. Pretty cute, right? Next, let's make three little bags of sprinkles. Here I have blue colored sugar. I also have this beautiful colorful confetti. Yum! In the third bag, I'll pour a bunch of pearl confetti. To decorate the bags, cut a small piece of colored cardboard paper, fold it in half and punch it on the bags with stapler. This makes the bags look so festive and pretty. I think packing the cone and the toppings into the DIY packages adds so much to this gift box. Fill the box with other ice cream related goodies like this ice cream scoop. You can fill the handle with sprinkles. When you make yourself an ice cream, you can quickly add some sprinkled yumminess on top of it. So cool, right? I also got these three little jars, which I decided to fill with some sugar-covered chocolate candy, gummy worms and honey. You can use different dressings like chocolate or caramel sauce. And of course, besides candy, you can use chocolate chips, crushed cookies or chopped nuts, dried fruits and chopped dark chocolate for a bit healthier options. Just think about the favorite snacks of the person the box is for. I'm adding two little notes in the box as well. On the first one, I wrote ice cream sundae in a box and on the other, bon appetit and I added a raffia hanger to both. To make sure the spoons won't scatter all around the box, let's tie them together and make a bow. We're finally ready to put all these goodies into the box. I think it looks extra cute if you add some tissue paper on the bottom. I scrunched two pink pieces and popped them in. You can make so many different thematic sundae boxes. If you're making it for someone that eats very healthy, you can put in a bunch of different yogurt toppings like granola, crushed nuts, seeds and so on. The options are endless. I think an ice cream sundae box like this will put a big smile on the face of whoever you'll give it to. Pimping up plain clothes is a great way to make amazing gifts at affordable price. Here I transformed a plain sweater into the most adorable cat sweater everyone will love. All you need to make it is a plain sweater that you can get for very cheap, scissors, pink and black felt, ribbon and fabric glue. Start by outlining the animal you're going for. I decided to make a cat, so I need a pair of pointy ears, eyes, nose, mouth and whiskers. Cut all the shapes out. Be creative and make other animals of your choice, like a dog or bear, for example. You can have so much fun designing the sweater. For the nose, I'm cutting a little pink heart from the light pink piece of felt just to make our kitty cat sweater even more cute. Here's how it looks when we put all the pieces together. Hmm, something is missing. A little pink bow, so let's quickly make one from a piece of ribbon. Place the ribbon around the pointer and the middle finger and lead the bottom end up and through the opening between the two fingers. Tie both ribbon ends together in a knot. Take the bow off your fingers, trim away the excess ribbon and you're done! These ribbons can be used for many DIY projects, but today we're using one as a fashionable accessory to our kitten. 
All we have to do now is glue the pieces onto the sweater. Fabric glue is completely washable and should last many years. I'm so pleased with how this cat sweater turned out. Making a present like this is so much better than just buying a fancy, expensive piece of clothing in a store. It really shows that you took time and put effort into creating a present for someone you love. Plus, it's way cheaper for you! This is such a fun and easy DIY project that you can totally make for yourself as well. A great Christmas or birthday gift idea for any age is this beautiful picture frame. You need an inexpensive picture frame, acrylic paint, paintbrush, glue and some fake flowers. Fancy picture frames can be quite expensive, well you can get such plain ones for a dollar or two and you can pimp them up yourself. I decided to color the frame in green and then decorate it with artificial flowers. If you're giving it away for Christmas, you can switch the color to red and decorate it with snowflakes, for example. But I wanted to make a frame that you can have on your nightstand all year round. I applied two coats of paint to get it nice and opaque. Wait for a few hours or until it is completely dry and we're ready to glue on some flowers. You can buy such fake flowers on the internet for super cheap. I still have a lot left from my hair accessories and school supplies tutorial, remember? I put 5 flowers on 2 corners of my frame, but you can stick them all around the frame if you prefer. In any case, the picture frame will turn out gorgeous. Put in a picture of you and whoever you're giving this frame to, your friend, mom, grandma, and I guarantee you will melt their heart. I mean, who wouldn't be absolutely blown away by receiving such a special and thoughtful gift? Every time they will look at this beautiful picture, they will remember how lucky they are to have such a special person in their life. You. Every chocolate lover would be thrilled to receive these homemade chocolate bonbons. They are very quick and so much fun to make. You need some silicone molds, chocolate and toppings like sprinkles and mixed nuts. First we need to melt the chocolate. I'm doing that in the microwave, so I have to break the chocolate into the microwavable cups. I have some milk and some white chocolate. Yum yum! You can also melt your chocolate over the stove. Once the chocolate is melted, pour it into the mold. I have this heart-shaped one, but you can find so many other cool designs in the store. Flatten the chocolate with a spoon and then add toppings of your choice. I have some shredded coconut, chopped hazelnuts and sprinkles for the first three. I wanna make more than that, so here comes another row of chocolate yumminess. Here I'm also using some blue sugar and pines. Let's now make some white chocolate bonbons. Wait, what? I figured that I overcooked mine. So white chocolate, rest in peace. But we're not gonna stress about it for too long because I have some milk chocolate left. Leave them to cool completely, you can also put them into the fridge for a while. Time to take these babies out of the molds. Look at this perfection! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself right now. Totally tapping myself on the shoulder. No shame. They look so professionally made, right? I'm gonna try this one. No girl, these are not for you, these are for the gift. <laughs> they look so good, I just wanna eat them. Put them in a jar or a pretty gift box. Decorate it with some ribbon to make it more festive. You can personalize it for a friend that you're making them for. For example, if that person is all about healthy living, use 70% chocolate and top the bonbons with healthy stuff like nuts and goji berries. These are such a yummy and awesome gift. Ear hats are a huge trend and you can actually make them yourself. I'm gonna show you how. All you need is an inexpensive hat, two buttons, thread and a needle, plus some yarn. First we need to make two pom-poms. Wrap the yarn around the palm of your hand about 100 times. Trim the excess and take the yarn ball off your hand. Take a short piece of yarn or thread and wrap it around the yarn ball tightly. You end up with this bow shape. With scissors, cut through the loops on both sides. The bow shape is gone and we end up with a fluffy yarn ball. Time to make our pom-pom nice and rounded, so just have fun with scissors and play with it until you're satisfied with how it looks. There we go, this one is looking pretty posh. But since all the animals have two ears, we have to make the second pom-pom, which has to be of the same size as the first one. Our two balls of fluffiness are ready and we can attach them to the hat. Thread your needle and make a couple of stitches for each of the ears. If you want, you can just use fabric glue. Since my pom-poms are quite big and heavy, I figured that sewing will probably work best for me. Make a final knot inside the hat, snip away the excess thread and the first ear is done. 
Do the same for the other one. Just by adding ears, this hat looks so much prettier than before, right? You can totally finish here or you can give our bear a face, like me. For the eyes, I'm using a couple of white buttons to match the ears. Sew them on a hat using black thread, which will represent the pupils. Besides being an awesome gift idea, this project is also great for upcycling your old hats and refreshing your winter wardrobe. I'll definitely make another one for myself if I give this hat away because I just love it so much. For the nose and mouth, I'm using yarn and fabric glue. Make a little oval shape for bear's nose and a wave for the mouth. Here we have it, our Mr. Bear hat, all done and looking epic! This DIY is really inexpensive but so unique and special. The lucky person who receives a gift like this will surely feel special and appreciate it. You know what guys, I was thinking that none of my friends have birthdays in the next days and I'm feeling pretty hungry so I'm just gonna dig into the ice cream box. I have to give it a little quality control to make sure it's good enough as a gift, right? I'm taking two scoops of raspberry sorbet, which is so good. A little whipped cream never hurt nobody, so let's put it on top. Time for the toppings! I'm going for some honey first, because raspberry sorbet can be quite sour and we need to balance it out with sweet honey. We also have to check out how the sprinkle scoop works. Hmm, nice! I'm gonna mark it as approved. All we need now is some decor and an ice cream spoon. How pretty is this snowflake? You can make decorations like this yourself. Cut some shapes of your choice from colored paper and stick them on the toothpick. After a quality control has been performed, I can totally approve this ice cream box as a perfect gift for any occasion. I love it! If you need some small and inexpensive presents to give to your friends, these candy bonbons are perfect. To make them, you'll need some candy, ribbon, cellophane, tape, toilet paper roll, wrapping paper and scissors. Start by wrapping the craft paper around the roll and secure it with a piece of tape. Fold the extra paper on the sides inside the roll like this. Pop the candy of your choice into the opening. Take your cellophane and wrap it around the candy roll. Secure it in place with tape. Make two ribbon bows on the sides and you get the perfect bomb bomb shape. How cute are these! Make a bunch of different colors and give them to your best friends or you can use them as stocking fillers. Easy, inexpensive and totally adorable little gifts. I'm in love! Anyone that loves beauty and likes to pamper herself would be happy to receive this moisturizing body scrub. You need a bowl, a jar, essential oil, food coloring, sugar and coconut oil. Pour quarter of a cup of melted coconut oil into the bowl and add a cup of sugar. Add a few drops of essential oil, I'm using peppermint and mix in a bit of blue food coloring. Mix the ingredients together really well. If you need to, you can still add sugar or oil at this point to get the perfect consistency. Pour the scrub into a jar. To make the gift prettier, you can decorate it with stickers. Write on a name and stick it on the lid. I also decided to wrap a piece of white raffia around and make a bow. What a cute little present, right? Especially in the winter when our skin gets dry, it's really important to exfoliate and moisturize. This scrap works perfectly because it does both, removes dry skin and dead cells, plus moisturizes. Now let's make some marble bowls, which are a great decorating and organizing piece for any age. We're gonna need some clay, a bowl, dough roller and a gold fabric marker. Roll the colors of your choice into strips like this. I have white, green, violet and yellow. Now you need to twist all the strips together and the more you twist, the more marbly your bowls are gonna be. I want my design to be quite full, so I decided to roll my clay again and then twist it like that. Just play with it so that the clay colors mix together. When you feel like you have a good pattern, form the clay into a little marble bowl. Place it on the flat surface and use a roller or something rounded like a vase or a bottle to flatten it. Just as you would be baking cookies. 
place the clay on top of the bowl and let it dry. Here I made another one. For this one I swirled the clay even more so I got an even more marbly rustic look. I decided to put it inside the bowl and make the edge even more wavy by folding it in. My clay is air drying so I just have to wait for a few hours for my bowls to dry and harden, but you can bake them and speed up the process. For the finishing touch color the edge in gold or any other color. You can use a marker or acrylic paint to do that. Ta-da! The marble dishes are all ready and a perfect gift for a friend, your mom, grandma or anyone that likes cute room decorating pieces. These are great for storing jewelry or anything else like keys, pins, you name it. What's better than drinking a morning coffee or tea from a mug made by someone very special to you? DIY mugs are a cute and super easy idea perfect for all ages. To make them you need a white mug and some porcelain markers. This one would be perfect for a birthday gift. I started with a party garland and some balloons. First I like to outline the picture in black and then I'll add some color. Plain mugs are very inexpensive and the markers will last you forever, so you'll be able to make a lot of gifts using them. All you have to do is transform yourself into a creative mug designer and make some awesome drawings on the mugs. I'm really not that good in drawing, so don't judge me. But that is the point of DIYing. You don't have to be a Picasso to make a gift like that. I also decided to add a little quote, smile, it looks good on you. Not just smile, the person I'm gonna give this mug to will probably laugh every morning when drinking coffee thinking about how terrible drawer I am. <laughs> Feel free to leave your mug in black and white, but you know me, I love color, so I had to spice it up a bit. Looking awesome! Now on to the other mug. I wanted this one to be more winter related, so I'm writing on baby, it's cold outside. I don't know about you guys, but boy, it's been getting pretty cold here in Norway lately, so this totally feels appropriate. On the bottom part of the mug, I'm drawing three penguins. Poor babies freezing in the snow. Start with an oval for the body, horizontal number three for the face and two lines for the white belly. Using yellow marker, make a beak and their feet. And since I'm making fantasy penguins, I'm coloring them in green, pink and blue. This DIY doesn't take more than 5 minutes and you get such a nice gift, just perfect! To make your mugs dishwasher proof, you have to pop them in the oven for the markers to harden. Follow the instructions for your markers, as they can be a bit different. I have to bake my mugs at 300 Fahrenheit for 90 minutes. Voila! Here they are, all finished, looking awesome! I love how you can be so creative with these mugs. You can make so many awesome designs. Drawings, patterns, quotes, sky's the limit. Quality control is needed again, so let's make some hot chocolate. Little bit of milk, a teaspoon of cocoa powder and whipped cream to make it extra delicious and festive. Every time your friend will drink from the mug that you made, he or she will be reminded how special he or she is to you. And that is a priceless feeling. Last but definitely not least, I'll show you how to make these epic gloves or hand warmers, which is probably my favorite gift idea in a bunch. And don't worry if you don't know how to knit, because I have no clue either. Twinsies! You'll need some yarn, ice cream cup, glue gun, bobby pins, knitting hook and a needle. Before we start knitting, we need to make a simple knitting loom. Start placing pairs of pins around the edge of the cup like that, leaving about half an inch between each pair. If you don't have an ice cream cup, you can use a bigger coffee cup or any other hollow rounded object. Time to take our glue gun and let's apply some glue over and around each pin to make sure they will stay in place while knitting. When all the pins are glued in place, we can proceed to the fun part, knitting! Take your yarn and this is optional, a straw. Thread the yarn through it. Straw makes it easier to wrap the yarn around each pin. Leave about 5 inches of yarn hang loose and then start wrapping the yarn around each pin. Make sure that you have loops on the outside and the connecting line of yarn on the inside of the loom. When you reach the first pin, just continue with one more row above the first one. See how quickly you can wrap the yarn around the pins using a straw. The second wrapping row is finished, so it's time to take the hook and pull the bottom loops over the top ones. Grab the bottom loop, the one closer to the cup edge, pull it over the top loop and over the pin like that. 
If you don't have a hook, you can easily make one from a piece of wire or you can pull with fingers too. Go all around the loom until our first row is finished. Time to again wrap the yarn around the pins, but from now on we only need to wrap them once because as you can see we already have our first row of yarn from before. When all the pins are wrapped, take a hook and pull the bottom loops over the top ones. These are the two steps that you need to keep repeating until your glove is long enough. Wrap the yarn around the pins, pull the bottom loops over the top ones, then again wrap the yarn around the pins and again pull the bottom loops over the top ones. It's that simple. You can make the gloves using only one color of yarn or you can make stripes of different colors. I decided to make a green edge on these gloves, so I need to switch the yarn. This is very easy. Snip the pink working yarn, leaving about 5 inches extra like that. Take the green yarn and thread on a straw. Now simply make a knot, tying together the pink and green yarn like that. Then continue the same two easy steps as before, this time using green yarn. Wrap the yarn around each pin and then pull the bottom loops over the top ones. And that's the whole story, it's really easy, you really have to try it. I love this quick loom knitting technique because it's so simple and only takes about 2 hours to make a beautiful glove. Especially this time of the year when it gets dark so quickly, I love cozying up on the couch, wrapped in blankets, watch some TV and knit these gloves. I find it really relaxing and therapeutic. Call me granny, it's like granny's beauty corner. <laughs> After 22 pink and 5 green rows, I believe this glove is long enough, so I'm gonna pull the bottom loops over the top ones for the last time and then we'll make a finishing crochet row. To make it you can use a crochet hook like me, but knitting hook from before or a piece of wire would work just fine too. Pull the first loop from the pin and onto the hook. Take your working yarn and wrap it around the hook like this. Now you need to pull the first loop over the second one and off the hook. Add the loop from the second pin onto the hook and again wrap the working yarn around the hook. As you can see, you have three loops on the hook. Pull the middle one over the third loop and then the first one over the third loop. Continue this step until you take all the loops off the pins. I feel like I'm saying hook 100 billion times now, but I really want you guys to understand. Let's repeat. Take the loop off the pin, wrap the working yarn around the hook and you're left with three loops on the hook. Pull over the middle one and the first one. Then repeat the step. When you reach your last pin, the glove will come off the loom. You're left with a little loop and the working yarn which we have to trim, leaving about 5 inches of extra. Lead the yarn through the loop and make a couple of knots and stitches to make sure that the glove won't fall apart. We want it to last many years. I'm using a big knitting needle, but you can totally make one using a piece of wire. On the opposite end of the glove you still have this first yarn end peeking out. Make a few knots and stitches to secure your work. I decided to make an extra knot where we switched the colors just to be sure. Now we can snip away all the extra yarn hanging out. Push the knot from the yarn switch inside the glove to hide it and we're all done and ready to admire these adorable hand knitted gloves. You can make them for yourself or you can give them as the most beautiful and thoughtful gift ever. Switch up the colors and you can make these gloves for anyone, girlfriend, boyfriend, grandpa and I guarantee they will be overwhelmed. Homemade gifts are much more thoughtful, unique and special than the store-bought ones. Take some time this year and make gifts for your friends and family and show them how much they mean to you. You will melt their heart, because with homemade gifts you don't give an object, you give love. These are my 10 DIY gifts ideas perfect for Christmas, birthdays or any kind of day when you want to tell your friends and family that you love them. Let me know in the comments which of the 10 ideas was your favorite and also give the video some love if you want more Christmas related videos, maybe a room decor or something like that. Let me know. That is it for today, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you really soon. Oh and before I go, don't forget to check out the Christmas videos I did last year. Bye!